Taurus, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our weekly reading for April 11th through the 17th. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. At the heart of your reading, we have the moon. Secrets being kept um, from a, a desire for privacy. Um... Possibly because thinking about these things is uncomfortable. Whatever is being kept private. Some sort of painful memory. What's the challenge here for Taurus? lovers, the painful memory is either about a past romantic relationship. Well, I guess it could be a, a current romantic relationship. It, it feels further back in the past, though. Um, could be a painful memory having to do with your parents. like a, a behavior that they had toward one another. Or the challenge might be that you're in a relationship right now and your person really wants to get to know you better and is asking you to open up. Oh. King of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. I think it's most likely that your partner is opening up to you and, ah, uh, okay, yeah, that could go either way. One, I think what, let me, let me try and say this well. What's going on is if, if this is you in a relationship currently, these energies could manifest as one person wants to get to know the other person. So they start opening up about themselves in an attempt to get their person to open up back. And I think it's not working very well at the moment. So you could be the one opening up to your partner, hoping that they will also open up to you. You might be on the receiving end of this. Show me Taurus's focus. Seven of Cups reversed. You're either worried that your, your person is emotionally unsure what they want and you're really wanting them to, to figure it out. Like this might be um, you want to pin down how they feel about you, whether or not they see a future with you whether or not they want to commit to you or whether or not they're happy with you. You might have recently decided to emotionally commit to this person. That could be why this is so fresh and so important to you right now. Because you may have just decided, all right, I want to emotionally invest in this person. I think I can be happy with them. I'm going to open up to them. And then maybe they don't open up back and that causes a, a fear reaction in you. Let's see what led up to this in the recent past. Three of Pentacles. You may have met this person through, through friends or because of a group you belong to, like a mutual interest, uh, a, sh a common interest, like a club or an activity group. You 
may have met them at work. Give me more on the Three of Pentacles. The Emperor reversed. Yeah, um... Whatever group we're talking about here, um, it wasn't like a, a hierarchical group. There was no one leader. It was very um, cooperative. They're giving me, it might have been an actual co-op. Or the group might have been aimed, like the, the aim of the group might have been to uh, try and correct issues with leadership. Like um, it could have been like an activism group trying to affect political change. Show me the energy of the environment. How is spirit using Taurus's environment to support them and nudge them in the right direction? Here we go. Um, you, you are meant to... I want to say, like... Take someone down a notch. King of Wands reversed agrees with the Emperor reversed. Like there's... There's someone in a position of power in your environment who is behaving irrationally or irresponsibly. Emperor reversed with the Three of Pentacles could mean the leader of the group was just ousted. Or that the leader of the group is toxic, problematic. Give me more on the King of Wands. How is Spirit using this to help Taurus? Five of Pentacles reversed. It's creating some sort of upheaval in your life. Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. It is a fortunate thing. It's leading you to something positive. It could be like wrapping up an old cycle by removing something from your life. We may have someone who threatens to leave a relationship because they themselves feel insecure and are worried about the other person leaving. There's a possibility here that we're looking at, oh, 
like a their modeling behavior that they saw their mother or their father exhibit. Abdicating responsibilities or being um, unpredictable, unreliable. Perhaps they get angry and you don't know why. Like it doesn't make sense for the situation. Show me the near future for Taurus. Nine of Wands, you're gonna see it through to the end. But it's not gonna take that long. Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck when that came out. Give me more on the Nine of Wands. Nine of Cups. Because you believe at the other side of this, a lot of positive can come. Like you've gotten certain about what you want and you are, you're gonna persevere whatever difficulties present themselves. One possibility to tie this all together is that you may have a fear of abandonment because you felt like one of your parents abandoned the family. If that's the case in your environment, this is saying this is someone who may remind you of the person who in your perspective, abandoned you in the past, but they're not going to do so now. This person is not going to abandon you. Your surprise energy is the sun in reverse. This is either saying that you're gonna to start to see a solution to the situation, or you may plan a trip with your person. Give me more on the sun. Two very positive cards. This is going to be a really good surprise, but they're both reversed, which either says uh, is the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Um, that it's going to show up in a in a way that you. Well, I mean, it's coming through as a surprise, so it's definitely going to be in a way that you're not expecting. Um, I think it's actually something that you didn't think would be possible. Possibly some sort of healing. Three of Swords reversed at the bottom of the deck here. Some sort of... Travel to You might like go back to your hometown and revisit some old memories in a way that's very healing. You might be able to make amends with a, a parent.
And whenever the Ten of Pentacles shows up as a surprise, it could mean a surprise amount of money arrives. Possibly in order to allow you to take a trip or because you go on a trip. Your hopes and fears, we have the Page of Pentacles. going back to the moon here. You want to learn something. You've opened up and you want your person to open up to you. You want them to allow you to learn more about them. Give me the end result. Seven of Pentacles reversed. You might have to chip away at this for a while. Whatever your issue is here with the moon, it's very deep-seated. And it's, it's being withheld or repressed for a reason. The Seven of Pentacles, though, says that if you keep nurturing the situation and keep um, cultivating it toward the outcome that you want, the outcome you want is possible. The reversal, I feel like, is that it's going to take a while. Potentially a long while. But the, out the potential outcome is very positive. Like, if you keep working toward what you want here, the sun and the ten of pentacles. Joy, prosperity, abundance, limitless potential. A really interesting mix of energies here because we have so much positivity with the nine of cups, the sun, the ten of pentacles, but the... the and the lovers, but then the lovers is showing up as the challenge and it's like... There are some, some deeper emotional issues at, at work here. Your advice is to embody the Queen of Swords energy. Trust your intuition. Um, when you are looking at a situation and you get a vibe like something is off, or if someone tells you something is fine, and you suspect that it's not, you're probably right. If you think, I bet I know why they're doing this, you're probably right. Those sorts of intuitive hits. The Queen of Swords looks at a situation and understands the deeper truth. Just, she has an innate ability to see the truth. She can also communicate that truth very effectively. So the advice may be, to share the insight that you have into this situation, it may really help the person on the receiving end of that information. Taurus, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you back tomorrow for the dailies. Bye.